Hi, I'm Mary Kamau, the Executive Director of Missions of Hope International. I'm really, really excited to tell you about what Missions of Hope is doing. And I thank God today when I look at all of you. Uh, God has brought you from different corners of this country and different corners of this world. Some of you are Americans, others are Kenyans, and God has brought all of us together so that we can be part of this great thing that God is just doing as he transforms lives. Oh, I tell you, God has been so, so faithful. You know, starting back in year 2000, if you asked us whether, you know, Missions of Hope would grow to where it is today, Wow, it was unimaginable. It was hard to believe it, given the struggles that we were going through at the beginning. By then, we were not even called Missions of Hope. I can tell you, we didn't even have an idea that that is the name God wanted to use for this ministry. And we called ourselves Madare Family Hope Center. And it was all about giving hope and restoring hope to the people of the slums and whatever else God was going to send us. When we started, we had only 50 boys and girls aged four to six. And over the last 17 years, God has tremendously blessed this ministry. It has grown beyond anybody's expectations. And that always reminds me that this is a God thing that all of us are involved in. And then now we have uh, 14,810 children in um, our 18 uh, locations and we are still counting. When we started this mission, our dream or our vision was to just be able to see lives being transformed. And uh, we transform uh, their lives through education, through health programs, business development services, and uh, spiritual outreach. When we go to a community, we identify children that can actually come to our hope centers. And after we start the hope center, these children give us an entry point to their families, to their communities. And God has just been blessing the communities we are working in, the people we are serving, and many, many lives have been transformed. And one of the things that has really been a great encouragement for me is when I see a child coming to a Hope Center, not even being able to write, sometimes not even being able to speak, not even being able to, to have the confidence to actually speak for themselves. But they come, they spend time with our loving teachers, our loving social workers, our loving cooks cook for them, our cleaners make sure the environment is clean and nice for them, and these children just start realizing how much value they are to God, and their families are able to see, wow, you mean this could become of our children. And this way, we are going to build Kenya, we are going to have great citizens, who are going to be the change engines in the different communities that we are serving. Besides the schools, and the education programs that we have, the feeding programs we have for these kids, the way we are teaching them the word of God, we were also able to start our business development services arm. We have the microfinance program. Today, over 5,000 clients are getting loans from Missions of Hope, being able to start businesses, being able to earn a living for their families. And besides that, we have the Skills Training Center that now we have started at Kariobangi, but we started in a very small way. Edna, Koje, and Mary Kedo are actually among the first instructors for our sewing skills training program and we had to squeeze them in a very small room. That room could only fit like five machines at a time and no room for them to pass, but they, they were patient enough, they, they were willing to be part of that big humble beginning, and today look at what God has done. Currently we have uh, sewing, we have uh, hairdressing and beauty, we also have uh, knitting, we have beadwork, and uh, we also have welding and carpentry, also recently just started the computer training and uh, that definitely will keep growing. Of course, there are many other things that are happening in business development. We have the water bottling plant. By the way, if you intend to get married uh, in the near future, make sure you give business to our Hope Springs uh, water project and you'll be able to enjoy our water. And it is such a big blessing and this 
whatever proceeds that we get out of selling this water, it actually comes back to supporting missions of hope and the programs that we have. And, and we have the gift shop in Pangani, we have uh, the agribusiness that is going on, and it keeps expanding. Besides all that, we also have our health programs. By the way, we never thought that one day we'd start a clinic. Of course, I'm not a medical person. I'm not even a dental person. But today, we have dental clinics and medical clinics, and we want to keep expanding this work. We have the Child Disability Program, and Isabella, who was one of our parents, currently now, She's working in that program together with Amon and others, and, and the program continues to grow. Recently, we started a pilot program on child survival. We want to make sure that the children that are born in our communities are healthy. Uh, we want to make sure they get the proper immunization. We want to make sure that they get good nutrition by us training their mothers on those kind of things so that they can be able to really take care of themselves and take care of their babies. And all this is actually towards ensuring that we have Christian community development in our communities. Spiritual development is very, very important. In fact, it is the core of this organization. And as we do all other work, as we educate, as we do skills training, as we do business development, our aim is actually to reach out to people with the love of Christ. We have to share what God has done and what he is able to do, and that is what will bring transformation uh, to people's lives. And in the process of working uh, and making sure we are sharing the love of Jesus with these people, many people have given their lives to Jesus, and that has, uh, has led us to partner with Outreach Hope Church so that we have been able to plant churches. Currently, Outreach Hope Church has 13 churches that have been planted over the years, and also recently we have decided to also go build Outreach Hope Churches and partner with other churches. We are also partnering uh, with uh, Nairobi Chapel, where we are looking forward to planting uh, more churches in different communities. And uh, we are also partnering with uh, CITAM, and so we are going to be uh, establishing schools, and they will be planting churches, and will be offering spiritual programs to our staff and to our children. And we thank God for what he's doing. And an amazing thing that I always love, even about Outreach Hope Churches, is the kind of leaders that God has raised. Some of them came actually as teachers to work with us, as teachers in Missions of Hope, and now they have ended up being pastors in Outreach Hope Churches. And I'm, I always get excited about this. And uh, others are elders, others are people that we have actually witnessed to parents of the children, community members that are involved in our chair programs and have ended up actually being leaders in these churches. And over the years, we have many, many stories of lives that have been transformed. And these are lives of community members. These are lives of families. These are lives of children. These are lives of even staff members that are serving in missions of hope. I think of kids like Clyde Mukanzi. I think of kids like Jacinta Waidera. I think of uh, kids like um, Stephen Kenodia. I think of people like Juliet Wajera, Anne Mothoni, and what God is doing in their lives. Samuel Chege, Edward Kamau, Anthony Mwangi, Anthony Modesi, who is now just about to finish high school. And it has been a journey, and God has just done great things in their lives. I think of families like the family of Anwe Rimo. I think of families like the family of Philip Amoiga, who is one of our staff members. Hey, God is so great. Look at what God is doing. And when you look at uh, most of the people that are working in Missions of Hope, many of them has, have testimonies. Look at Mother Koja, who is one of our teachers in Area 2. She is actually a good product of Missions of Hope. Look at Virginia, who is now serving in the reception. Look at even us. Actually, when we started working in Missions of Hope, many of us were not where we are. We hadn't grown. Raphael, you got your wife in Missions of Hope. Isaac, you came as a young man, and look at you now. You are a father of two, and actually a manager. You have grown. Pastor Clinton, oh my gosh. 
remember, remember when you started working there at Joska and Mwai was part of that team and you, you ended up getting a wife there and Mwai also, hey, so many good things are happening. And the few that I've mentioned are just a few examples of what God has done and what God continues to do. And as we focus ahead, we have reason to dream big. Uh, because we can count on the people that God has brought along and above all we can count on God because of his great faithfulness and we know that uh, he is with us all the way. As I sit here today I can see a bright future for the many children that are still out in the communities because Missions of Hope is a great force that cannot be stopped. I am so, so excited about the future of this mission that I'm a small part of. And you know what? I really thank God and appreciate each and every one of you because you are part of this mission, you are part of the great things that God is doing, and you are going to be part of the great things that God will continue to do in this mission. And don't limit yourself to that center where you are serving or that department where you are serving, but just look at it, look at the big picture and look at the big thing that God is doing. Whatever you're doing, whether it is in the kitchen, whether it's along the corridors, whether it is in the class, whether it's in the office, or you're out there in the field meeting community members, never look down upon that which you're doing. It is contributing. And uh, without you, uh, this cannot happen. So you are very, very important. And uh, I would want everybody to realize that they are part of a bigger work, bigger than themselves. This is uh, God's work and uh, he is transforming communities and uh, there is yet more to be done. God has, has brought you here for such a time as this and I tell you as you continue to be faithful, you have served God faithfully, you continue to serve God faithfully and as you continue to be faithful, God is also going to take you far far, far, far beyond than anything you have ever imagined. I feel it in my heart, I, I, I feel it, I'm excited about it, and I appreciate each and every single one of you. God bless you so much for being a big part of Missions of Hope International.